Welcome to Through the Bible in a Year with Pastor John. We invite you to join us at 1 Oakley Avenue in North Providence, Rhode Island. This podcast is presented to you by The Way Ministries, supported by listeners like you. For donations, live videos, podcasts, and more, please visit www.thewayministriesri.org. Thank you and have a great day. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Through the Bible in a Year with Pastor John. So glad you could join me today to get a portion of God's Word. Today we're going to begin day 360, December 25th, Revelation 6 to 7. Just want to tell you, everybody, Merry Christmas. I hope you have a great day honoring the birth of our Savior and have family and relatives and just have a great day and understand what really Christmas is all about. The original Christmas present. Overview. The lamb who breaks the seals of today's reading was born centuries ago in a small stable in a small town of a small Roman province. The contrast between the picture at the manger and the picture of the final judgment and harvest is, to say the least, dramatic. The special baby of Christmas carols turned out to be the lamb on the throne, 717. Only a few during his earthly ministry would recognize him as such. But when he is unveiled before all creation as he appears in Revelation 6-7, no one will recognize him as anything less. Amen. Chapter 6. The Plagues of the Seven Seals. Devastating. Chapter 7. Numbering a multitude. Verses 1-8. to Sealed. A numberless multitude. 9-17. to Saved. Revelation. Chapter 6. The Lamb breaks the first six seals. As I watched, the Lamb broke the first of the seven seals on the scroll. Then I heard one of the four living beings say, with a voice like thunder, Come! I looked up and saw a white horse standing there. Its rider carried a bow, and a crown was placed on his head. He rode out to win many battles and gain the victory. When the Lamb broke the second seal, I heard the second living being say, Come! Then another horse appeared, a red one. Its rider was given a mighty sword and the authority to take peace from the earth. And there was war and slaughter everywhere. When the lamb broke the third seal, I heard the third living being saying, Come. I looked up and saw a black horse, and its rider was holding a pair of scales in his hand. And I heard a voice from among the four living beings say, A loaf of wheat bread or three loaves of barley will cost a day's pay, and don't waste the olive oil and wine. When the lamb broke the fourth seal, I heard the fourth living being say, Come. I looked up and saw a horse whose color was pale green. Its rider was named Death, and his companion was the grave. These two were given authority over one-fourth of the earth to kill with the sword and famine and disease and wild animals. When the Lamb broke the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of all who had been martyred for the word of God and for being faithful in their testimony. They shouted to the Lord and said, O sovereign Lord, holy and true, how long before you judge the people who belong to this world and avenge our blood for what they have done to us? Then a white robe was given to each of them. And they were told to rest a little longer until the full number of their brothers and sisters, their fellow servants of Jesus, who were to be martyred, had joined them. I watched as the Lamb broke the sixth seal, and there was a great earthquake. The sun became as dark as black cloth, and the moon became as red as blood. Then the stars of the sky fell to the earth like green figs falling from a tree, shaken by a strong wind. The sky was rolled up like a scroll, and all the mountains and islands were moved from their places. Then everyone, the kings of the earth, the rulers, the generals, the wealthy, the powerful, and every slave and every free person, all hid themselves in caves and among the rocks of the mountains. And they cried to the mountains and the rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of the one who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of their wrath has come, and who is able to survive? 
Revelation chapter 7. God's people will be preserved. Then I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding back the four winds so they did not blow on the earth or the sea or even on any tree. And I saw another angel coming up from the east, carrying the seal of the living God. And he shouted to those four angels who had been given power to harm land and sea, Wait, don't harm the land or the sea or the trees until we have faced the seal of God on the foreheads of his servants. And I heard how many were marked with the seal of God. 144,000 were sealed from all the tribes of Israel, from Judah, 12,000. From Reuben, 12,000. From Gad, 12,000. From Asher, 12,000. From Naphtali, 12,000. From Manasseh, 12,000. From Simeon, 12,000. From Levi, 12,000. From Issachar, 12,000. From Zebulun, 12,000. From Joseph, 12,000. From Benjamin, 12,000. Praise from the great crowd. After this I saw a vast crowd, too great to count from every nation and tribe and people and language, standing in front of the throne and before the Lamb. They were clothed in white robes and held palm branches in their hands, and they were shouting with a great roar, Salvation comes from our God, who sits on the throne and from the Lamb. And all the angels were standing around the throne and around the elders and the four living beings. And they fell before the throne with their faces to the ground and worshipped God. They sang, Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and strength belong to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the twenty-four elders asked me, Who are these who are clothed in white? Where did they come from? And I said to him, Sir, you are the one who knows. And he said to me, These are the ones who died in the great tribulation. They have washed their robes in the blood of the Lamb and made them white. That is why they stand in front of God's throne and serve him day and night in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will give them shelter. They will never again be hungry or thirsty. They will never be scorched by the heat of the sun. For the Lamb on the throne will be their shepherd. He will lead them to springs of life-giving water, and God will wipe every tear from their eyes. My Daily Walk Do you recognize Jesus of Nazareth? The child of this holiday is the center of all creation and will be worshipped for all eternity. The Word became human and made his home among us specifically to spill his blood in order to wash the robes of his servants and make them clean, 714. The man who stood before human kings and was condemned is also the lamb who stands before the throne to lead us to springs of life-giving water, 717. What began in the womb of a young Jewish girl will be completed in the frightening, glorious time foreseen by John. As you hear the carols of Christmas today, think also of another refrain being sung, or rather shouting, you'll find it in chapter 7, verse 10 and 12. It's the praise God deserves to hear for sending Jesus to us and the ultimate recognition of who the Christ child really is. You may even want to repeat those words out loud whenever you have a chance today. Every time you open a gift, be reminded of the ultimate gift of the Lamb, a gift that lasts forever. Jesus is God spelling himself out in language the world can understand. Amen. That's so true. And like I always said, Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. Have a great day and God bless you. Be safe and have a great day. And always remember that it's Jesus' day. He was born to save us from our sins and to always recognize that and to share that with others so they can be set free. So have a great day. Keep up the good work, and God bless. And I will see you tomorrow. Lord willing, peace.